District Attorney Leon Canizero sent a statement indicating that he was dropping the case reluctantly and that prosecutors are not convinced of Morgan's innocence. Part of the statement indicated disappointment by the family of the victim, Clarence Landry. What is most disappointing to me about this entire incident is that as Mrs. Landry lays in bed dying of cancer, the justice for which she worked so hard to obtain is ripped from her fingers and she is helpless to stop it. Innocence Project Director Emily Ma, who described the prosecution of Morgan as a waste of taxpayers' money, blasted the DA's statement, saying prosecutors never even talked to the family of the victim. We are the only ones who've been in touch with them, and they are not sorry that Jerome Morgan is out, and they are not sorry that he is not being re-prosecuted. They would like Mr. Canazero to give up saying Jerome Morgan is guilty and actually investigate the case. In fact, the DA's office is vowing to continue its prosecution of those two witnesses for perjury, despite their earlier claims in court that they were coerced by police to finger Morgan back when he was 16 years old. Now, for now, Morgan said he looks forward to being off an electronic ankle bracelet, uh, end of the curfew, and finally getting a chance to travel outside the state. All right, All right. Mike, thank you very much.